Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Um, my name is Stu Abramson. I'm the president of the Doylestown Historical Society. And it's been my honor to work with Chief Dunley for this commemoration event. Um, I think everybody knows, but I'll just repeat it. It was 100 years ago today, September 22nd of 1914, when Constable Henry Colby, who was dispatched to pick up and arrest a suspect, a forgery and robbery suspect, at the train station on Clinton Street. He did that. He apprehended a, an 18-year-old man named William Miller. And during the arrest process, this 18-year-old kid pulled a revolver out from wherever he had it and shot Officer Colby through the heart, who went down. Uh, some uh, witnesses saw the event, uh, helped with the arrest, tried to revive Officer Colby, who unfortunately died just, a, I think, a few minutes after. This happened at about 9 o'clock in the morning at uh, uh, Ashland Street, near Clinton Street, as far as we can tell. So, I mean, it's been uh, 100 years ago, and unless Chief Dunley has new information, it's uh, my understanding that uh, uh, Officer Colby was the first and only police officer to have been killed in the line of duty in this town. So that says something, I think, about, about uh, the town and its respect for our police officers. Officer Colby was 54 years old when he died. He left a wife, and we think he left a daughter, but I'm not sure that we know that for absolute certain. Uh, he was also a member of the Salem Church, which is right across the way uh, from here. And I think it's uh, it's in keeping with the historical subtones, the sub theme, I should say, of this event, that we have asked uh, Pastor Tyson Fry, who is the current pastor of Salem Church, to lead us in the invocation. Pastor Fry. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Gracious God, the years have flown by since the untimely death of Henry Colby, a law enforcement officer here in Doylestown. In executing his duty, Henry was killed by a young 18-year-old man named William Miller near the Doylestown train station. His death was senseless and continues to remind us of the danger associated with maintaining law and order. We give thanks for men and women who take up the challenge to defend us on the streets of our towns and cities. Your commandments are broken by those who have no regard for the way that we are linked together in community day by day. We remember today the valor of Henry Colby as he sought to keep the streets of Doylestown safe 100 years ago. And we give thanks that Henry rests with you in the wondrous reaches of eternity. Today we are inspired by his witness. Henry loved and cared for Doylestown and gave his life for the town he served. He was a servant of Almighty God, and he sought to keep the citizenry of Doylestown safe in those early years of the 20th century. Oh, that we would have, O oh Lord, the courage and the resolve to care for Doylestown and its people like Henry did a hundred years ago. For today, the task seems larger as the population of Doylestown and our wider community have grown larger. So we gather before you, ever-present, ever-caring Lord. May this day of remembrance sink deep within our souls and help us to refine our own character. Give us courage to defend your laws, O God of justice. Give us a deep sense of concern for our neighbors as we seek to be a law-abiding people. And place within our hearts love for you, O oh God, and love for our Doylestown community. Help our houses of worship to continue teaching right from wrong, so that senseless murders like that of Henry Colby no longer happen on our streets. And help us to give heartfelt thanks this day for Henry's life. For here, we recognize the ultimate sacrifice that he made 
100 years ago. May we never forget his devotion, and may we never forget your eternal love and care. Hear your people in prayer, O God of the ages. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Fry. According to newspaper articles at the time, about 1,000 people paid their respects following the funeral of Colby. And that speaks not only of the man himself, but the respect that the people of this community had and still have for those people who put themselves in harm's way to protect this community and for its safety. And for that, we are also eternally grateful. With that, I would like to introduce the president of Boylestown Borough Council, Ned Anson. Thank you, Stu. Um, as we're gathered here today, I just want to recognize um, some of the members of law enforcement that we have with us. We have members of our own Central Bucks Regional Police Department. We have Buckingham Township represented here, as well as Warrington, New Hope, and the Bucks County Constables. These are men and women who put their lives on the line every day for our safety. And while it's easy to take our own safety for granted, they go into every day of work knowing what could happen, what could be at risk, and do it anyway for the protection of us all. And I'm especially appreciative of that as we are recognizing the loss of someone in Dolestown 100 years ago, and it's still fresh in our minds what this means in terms of service to our community and the high price that we may pay as part of that service. I want to thank the Dolestown Historical Society for their efforts to keep this memory and story alive in the community so that it can be carried on forward. I also want to recognize in the audience, we have members of our borough council today. We have Jack O'Brien, we have Joe Flood, we have David Lauston, and my vice president, uh, Susan Madian, are here today in support, recognition, and observance of the loss of Colby. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. <coughs> Lastly, we have the chief of the newly established Central Bucks Regional Police Force, Chief Jim Donnelly, who will call the troops to order and lay the wreath and give a final salute to Officer Henry Colby. Chief Donnelly. Uh, before we do this, I'd like to take a moment and uh, remember that Henry Colby's death was a tragic, a human tragedy. There's also a human tragedy taking place in Monroe County uh, these days uh, where the uh, state police corporal was killed and another uh, trooper was uh, injured. And I would hope that we could apprehend this man without any further injuries to anybody. So please keep that in your prayers and in your thoughts. I thank you. Detail said, but present or Order. Arms. Thank you very much, Chief and Dad. Well, that kind of concludes our ceremony today. I, I want to thank you all for, for coming out. It turned out to be a, a lovely day. And um, I will say that for those of you who would like to know more information about Officer Colby, we will keep the Doylestown Historical Society open for a while today. We are located at 56 South Main Street. We have a file on Officer Colby which includes newspaper articles, actually a transcript of the trial, and other interesting uh, pieces of information that we'll make available to you if you'd like to visit us, visit us for a while. Uh, our uh, administrator is here, Fletcher Walls, who will greet you if uh, you are